Hello, everybody. Okay, so those of you that follow me on my lives, you already know what the August Kabuto kit is. And for those of you that do not, it is going to be Dark Shadows. Now, I'm not sure what you think of when you hear the word Dark Shadows. You know, there are some like magical, mystical kinds of books out there that make reference to the Dark Shadows. Well, we're not doing that exactly. We are doing an homage to Dark Shadows, the soap opera. I know, lots of you are fans of it, and lots of you aren't. I'm kind of leaning toward the aren't, because <laughs> it's just not my thing. But I have to give the people what the people want, and this is what they wanted. So on this particular um journal we're going to concentrate as far as technique it's going to be more so on the cover and then the inside will be more traditional just signing I mean putting in the signatures and so forth so I have not had time to do the inside peekaboo it's just a book holding it up um, because we're going to concentrate mostly on uh, on the front cover that is so this is a uh, supposed to represent like the opening to a mausoleum with the true traditional gothic shapes to it and then you open up the door Woo okay there you have Barnabas those of you that know the soap opera you know Barnabas those of you that don't you're going who the heck is Barnabas well that's okay I, I feel your pain. <laughs> I feel your pain. And um, <laughs> that, that is Barnabas. Okay. So let me show you what is going to come in the kit. And those of you that are in Dark Shadows, you will fully appreciate all the little goodies that are going to be in there. So let me put this to the side. And I will show you what is in there. Okay, so, first of all, here in the little packet, it may be small, but it is mighty. <laughs> Let's see if I can open it. Out. Okay, all right, here we go. So I made these little tabs. Whoopsie. Let me get all this out. I won't take all that out. That'll take forever. Um, I made these little, I should say I didn't make the tabs. I did color the tabs. And they've got red and black and different colors like that. Let me put it in here in the back so you can see it. And so it kind of has the creepy effects. So you're going to get one of those. Um, you're going to get a bat charm. They're all different. They're going to be random. And then um, a couple of creepy eyeballs are going to also be in there. And then I found, <laughs> I found these little itty bitty bats. So you're going to have a few of those bats in there <laughs> just, you know, to irritate you when you open up the package. Um, at least it isn't sparkly stuff. It's just little black bats, okay? Let me close that up because you don't want the bats flying around. All right, let me put this over here. Now, also, you're going to get, uh, some of these colors are hard to see, I can tell already. You're going to get some red tool and some gray tool, you can't tell the difference there, and then some black lace. And then some black, oh, and you can't even see, oh, you won't be able to see it. It's got a design, trust me, uh-oh, oh, 
almost you can almost see it there anyway velvet <laughs> oh 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 okay there you go oh you probably thought it was lying to you all right there you go and a piece of that this will be good like for um pockets or tabs or putting it on the edge of the pages or whatever all right then you are also going to get um two of these they come from you know the vintage um albums and um We'll be able to use these on the doors. That's what I used on here. So you'll get two of those to use whenever you want. You're going to get one of these die cuts of the Cathedral Arch. That's what I used there. So you're going to get one of those. And then the piece that um, was it was cut out from going to include that. You might be able to use that on a page or inside or somewhere. Why let it go to waste? So you're going to get that. You're also going to get one of these that is plain. You can see there it's just plain. And then one that has the mirror effect. I went ahead and did these for you because the um, product that does the mirror effect here in the states it's around i mean it's a small it's it's a spray thing but it's like smaller than that and it's gone up to like about 14 15 dollars and in canada it's like 25 dollars so i went ahead and did all those for you already those are all ready to go <coughs> and i had this other die cut that is supposed to be just these little things like that and then this other little tab that goes up there. So I cut some pieces of paper a little bit longer. And you can cut these, continue to just cut them out and use them individually. Or if you want to use them as tuck spots or, you know, use your imagination. You'll have that in there. I did some um, boiling papers that had a lot of the black. And some of it turned into that really dark blue. And... That has a little flower. Now, don't the, I shouldn't even show you that one because it's the only one that has a flower. I might have to keep it because I know you ladies are going to fight. Can I have the one with the flower? And then here are some more papers. Um, and here is some Amy's paper that she did in red. This would be really good to put on the edges of maybe some tags or something like that. So you have one of those and then one that has this really beautiful gray and it has a tiny bit very tiny bit of sparkle in there and then the rest of the stuff will not be identical because they're the ones i've done and they're all just one of a kind so you'll get something like it okay um i have this is um what was this oh this is just a paper a placemat i boiled those most of these are things that i've just boiled okay Oh, here's a black one. This one is one of Amy's. I forgot that was there. Then we have some gallum that I boiled. So you're going to get some of that. And then just an array of different boiled papers that I did in black and gray so that you can have some cool stuff to add into your journal. Then your print out. Um, you have a variety of printouts that you will have to play with. And these, um, most of these are black and white or sepia. And they're various characters and uh, things that I would imagine in Dark Shadow. Some are for real and some I just figured they must have lived on the estate. They had to have been, you know, <laughs> they had to be living on the estate. Where else would they live? I don't know the name. We That character is the only one I know, Barnabas. But I know these other people. If you're into this, you know their stage name. You know their real name. You know, you know everything, right? The character's name. I know he was on there. But I thought these other ones were just creepy enough to 
be a part of it. Ah, I didn't put any of these are right side up. Hello. Okay, so then there's there's Barnabas. There's some guy that you guys thought was a heartthrob. I don't know if that's his girlfriend that he married, that he killed, that he wanted to kill. I don't know. I don't know the story. And then this other lady that was on the show. And then she was on the show. And then that's him again. And she was on there. She later was one of Charlie's angels. So maybe he killed her and she turned into an angel. I really don't know the story. Um, and here's some more facts. And there's him. I don't know who she is, but it, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Ask me if I want to know. No, it's a little too creepy for me. Okay. Then you got some body parts. You need body parts when you have the creep factor. So he may not have been a doctor. Maybe he was a doctor before he was a vampire. I They do suck it out of you for health care. I do know that. Maybe, maybe that's what it was. I don't know. Um, and then they heard just some more creepy factors that I think would go just lovely with the whole theme. <laughs> just don't get your head stuck up in the in the fireplace. That's all I can say. And of course, you have to have a few moves and at least a little candelabra. And then this guy, I don't know who he was, but Susan said, you forgot him. So I had to stick him in there. So we stuck in a few few moons. Okay. And then you're going to get the pattern for all of this. All right. So that's what you're going to get in here. And right now I'm going through my scraps of all my dark kind of creepy paper. So I'm going to put my scraps together and those are also all going to be include I have some black I have some gray I have some red um, so those will also be included in um, in oops, oopsie oh I wanted to mention that these are all these are all in pretty bad shape I want you to know that when you get it they're in bad shape um, but you want it to be because this is all, you know, decrepit, old, falling apart. So it's perfect. So don't don't think this is going to be pristine. You're going to go, oh, mine is falling apart. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is definitely falling apart. <laughs> okay, so let's put that there. Okay, so then the next thing is, Rosemary, you're doing something you don't like. How, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Well, you know, I like taking a challenge, so I'm basically challenging myself. But my favorite architecture is the Gothic period. Uh, a lot of people think of Gothic of dark and this. When I think of Gothic, I think of the architecture, Gothic slash architecture. So for those of you that are just absolutely not into that, but you do like the architecture, I started to put one together and some of the ladies said, hey, can we have a kit that isn't you know, like the, you know, suck your life out of you kind of thing. I said, most definitely. So this is the cover I've been working on just to highlight this architecture. Now, it doesn't open up. There's no, you know, stuff that's, <laughs> that's going to go boo when you open it up. Um, I just wanted to accent that. So with that in mind, I had put together these that will go in this kit. So if you're not into the doomy gloomy, you might like this. Now, I put this in there. Um, I think of measurements, architecture, but also if we chop this up, uh, maybe into like two or four or three pieces, there's some really cool things we can do with this. So I decided to include that in there. You're also going to get, obviously, the arch. But because I want to try to do this kind of sort of, you know, in a little different way. Um, we're going to need two arches because I staggered them. So you're going to get two of those arches. All right. So just move this over here. Um, and because, like I said, it's not the doom and gloom. So we're putting some more, a little more traditional things in there. But we have some um, envelopes, um, architecture. Windows, hello, you, you get the idea. <laughs> they have windows. <laughs> windows, windows. 
And these, I'm going to probably copy, stain mine or something. I'm not sure what you guys might want to do. You might want to leave them all white. I don't know. And then, of course, you have this piece that the die cut came out of. You're also going to get, um, in case you want to put these windows somewhere, maybe in the front. Depends on what um, design you come up with. And we just cut those in half, so that'll be there. Um, a clip. I'm not sure, but when I think of architecture, I've got a clipboard somewhere doing something, so we have to have the clip. You cannot have architecture without some kind of uh, grids to do your, your rough draft. That's old school, right? Now they use the CADs on, on the computer. But old school, you needed these. So I forget how many we got here. We got like maybe like about six pages at least, five or six pages of this. Um, you're also going to get, of course, the um, pattern to the front like we did in the other kit. Um, and, you know, my fallback is I just love this paper. So we've got some of that um, large um, construction paper. I just thought the play on words, right? Construction, construction, architecture. Okay. I hope that wasn't lost. <laughs> I hope that wasn't lost with you. <laughs> and then um, some of my favorite or my only favorite, I guess, wallpaper, you know, is this beautiful wallpaper that, you know, you can paint, and um, I just love all the texture on it, and it just reminds me of architecture also. And those of you that got my architecture journals uh, way back, I forget when, I think it was the end of last year, can't remember, um, I did them with these, so we'll do some techniques with that that can go in here, or this could also just be your standalone journal. You don't have to go through doing a hardcover. We'll kind of briefly go over both of those when we do it. Then I have some stuff that I have to do, just odds and ends of architecture types of um, drawings and renderings. So you'll get, um, you know, won't, won't be the same ones. So I guess they're all one of a kind, but you'll get some stuff like that to put in your journal. Um, printouts, I have some of the real um, examples of the Gothic um, style. I won't go into all the detail what is and isn't and what it influenced, but needless to say, it influenced a lot of different architecture after the fact, of even um, Victorian architecture. So, um, oops, but you can see it has all these beautiful shapes to them. So we'll be playing around with these We'll do some fun stuff. Uh oh, did I put two in there? Doesn't matter. <laughs> you get the idea. And then I tore out some pictures from some books that I have that even though this isn't what you would call gothic, this is all gothic influence. These, um, the architecture here in the front. So you'll get um, a few of these that you can incorporate or cut out or trace or try to draw. And of course, obviously those will all be random. I had some pieces of tin that were this otter shape. You know, most of the ones that I sell, they're six by six, right? Uh, and I haven't listed these because, like I say, they're an odd shape. This is seven and a half by four. So each one will have, won't be necessarily this design, but it will be this shape, size, I should say. And this can, you know, either be just part of like maybe your portfolio if you're making some kind of a um, a like lap book or something you're going to be showing your designs or whatever however way you're going to put this all together or again this could be a different cover you may choose to put that on the cover of your book just to highlight a design so that will be there and then just a larger piece of um, of drafting um, and that'll go in there. These look really good when you copy dye them. So that will be part of that. So 
So whether you're into the architecture aspect of Gothic design or, oops, let me get this all over here. Or if you're into the creepiness <laughs> of gothic design, <laughs> we have something for you. So in the listing, this will be dark shadows and this one will be um, gothic architecture or gothic design, something like that. So you can differ differentiate between the two but you'll obviously be able to see the difference just in the cover. <sighs> okay, I try to talk fast, but, you know, probably got long-winded. Sorry about that. Anyway, so I think no matter what your interests are, you will find something here interesting for you, and we will get this started on the first week of August. We'll be doing this together. I'm really looking forward to it because like I said, I like to challenge myself and then I like to have fun with stuff that I like. All right. I hope, I hope one of these appeals to you.